continue our trip northwards and pop into Wanaka Beer Works to see Dave Gillies, the Californian brewer who arrived in our shores in the 90s, bringing with him a mad passion for great beer. Well, it's good to see you, but um, you're selling up and moving on. I've sold it. I'm pretty happy though once you've got it because, you know, to get a Belgium job. guy, you know, it's like, wow, how ideal. He's going to go in and do these other beers, but yep. he realizes in the meantime, you know, you, you got to have cash coming in, so. Keep rocking on. Yeah, keep, keep rocking on. Keep the partners the brands, happy. The brand's making money, so keep it. Dave continues to impress with his range. It does have a bit of a an iconic feel to it now. I remember the first time I tried Brewski when I was a student at Otago, uh, saving up my money to come this way to go snowboarding. And, uh, oh, really? It tastes uh, pretty much as good as I remember it tasting. Oh, right. That time, yep. that long, yep. long time ago. So, yeah, consistency is pretty awesome. Can we try the uh, Cadrona, please? Yeah. Yeah, it's a Vienna style. Oh, yeah. A lager. Yeah, yeah. Just, you know, emphasis is on the kind of a caramelized malt flavors and so you're using a good, good uh, sort of portion of Vienna malt in, in the beer? Yep, that's eight yeah, percent yeah, of yeah. the grit. Now you can almost get that sort of malt perfume, that kind of malt. Yeah, there's about six stuff. different malts in there. Besides the Vienna, there's Carapils, Caramunich Type 3, a, a touch of black and a touch of chocolate. Suit that, uh, Draft beer drinker. Yeah, I mean, hey, the, the, you know what it's the, like. It's like, like a little bit more caramel. A little yeah, more yeah, it's much hot. yeah. That's that's the go-to beer right there. <laughs> that's the beer. It's like you know, even the space drinkers will drink that and go, "Wow, that's good." Yeah. You know, it's like, but you know, in saying that, people that like good beer like it too. They go, yeah, "Wow, that's nice. that's nice." Here's a red truck and a tall. So what, do you, what do you think that tastes like? What would you say that style is there? I think it's a hybrid between. Two beers. It's kind of going into that sort of more sweeter, What's sort of, yeah, I don't know. Put a little bit of that chocolate rye in there too. Uh, chocolate rye is a little bit smokier flavor than the old chocolate barley. Something about almost like a gingeriness or something like that, but I mean, again, I haven't, I've never brewed with chocolate rye, so. Yeah. You need to do that. Yeah. Definitely. Do you want to try some chocolate rye and compare it to the chocolate yeah, yeah, barley? Yeah, that's good. You guys want to come through? Yeah, yeah. sure. Wanaka Beer Works is pretty novel in that it's attached to the Wanaka Transport Museum, one of the few museums in the world where you can look in and see a working brewery. Still looking in pretty good condition. Yeah. No, they're good brew houses, DME. Yeah. DME. I'm, yeah, I'm really pleased with them. I mean, they give you the full kit set. It's all ready to go. Plum, hook up the electricity. It's ready to go. So, I mean, it's designed to be uh, six hectoliters. But we, we push out an 850 litre brewski. Dave bottles all his beer on site. It's hard, back-breaking work. After 13 years, he's made a decision to get out. 51 years old now, man. It's like, man, I, you know, I'm gonna have a heart attack in the tank <laughs> one day. Too much no one's, no one's gonna, yeah, no one's gonna know I'm in there. What's that flavor? Yeah. <laughs> Dave. Yes, it's Dave. <laughs> no, it wouldn't be that good. <laughs> Hit the road anyway yeah. and head up north. And uh, thanks a lot for your time, Dave. A few delicious Wanaka bottles on board for the campsite. We continue northwards through some of the most amazing scenery that New Zealand has to offer. So here we are in uh, Franz Josef. Yeah. As you can probably see. Big chunk of ice up there. Absolutely. Yeah, so it's been a pretty big day today. Uh, uh, yeah. Early a start. Driving, a lot of driving, a lot of driving. But Absolutely. amazing scenery. Oh, the, some of the best in the world, I think, without a doubt. Um, started off headed to Arrow Brewing Company in Arrowtown. Yeah, their, their Christmas ale. I mean, seriously amazing beer. Uh, and and Daryl's an amazing guy on the uh, graphic art and done some great designs around the bar for the branding and stuff. Oh, definitely. And that's sort of uh, what we talked talked to him about with regards to the collaboration. And I think he's keen to, to put a bit of his input in and help us out with regard to some yeah. you know, label and yeah. design stuff. So I think That'd it's going to be, gonna really be cool. Pretty, pretty cool. There we headed off to Wanaka. Mm. 
Go yeah. and visit Dave. I guess his sunset months coming up since yeah. he's uh, just sold the business. Yeah, he has. So what do you say? Uh, a Belgian and a Kiwi have bought it. Uh, yeah. they're, they're moving over here and going to take it over in about six months or so. Yeah, that's right. So it'd be really interesting to see where where um, you know, beers going. Yeah, where where Wanaka Beer Works sort of moves moves towards. You know, from from here, here we, we we head head north, don't we? Head north. Hopefully it's going to be sunny. Absolutely. So I think we should really go and uh, do some homework. Yeah. And good health. Go on. Cheers. Yeah.